Calling all students! Summer Internship 2022 has finally arrived! PS Media Enterprise is now open for application! We are looking for Media Acquisition Interns Content Distribution Interns Digital Marketing Interns Localization Marketing Interns And Broadcasting Interns Send your CVs at careers at esmedia.io That is careers at esmedia.io Be part of our growing team! Annyeong haseyo! Curious about the Philippines and Korea? Our podcast is for you! Annyeong kwento mo! It's a podcast where we will talk about lifestyle, music, and culture in both the Philippines and Korea. Hosted by Lloyd and Jazz, be amazed and inspired with different stories yet to unfold. Listen to our podcast only here at Pinoy Soul Radio. podcast where we will talk about lifestyle, music, and culture in both the Philippines and Korea. Do you have a story to share? Well then, here is Anyong Kwenta Mo, Riza Dizon. Anyong, I'm Lloyd. Anyong, I'm Jazz, and welcome to another episode of Anyong Kwenta Mo. That's right, Jazz, and for today, we are going to meet someone who has big interest in the Korean culture in general. So Jazz, ito na naman tayo, kasi di ba? Uh, with our previous episodes, lagi may Q&A tayo sa first part ng podcast, no? So, uh, with my question to, uh, for today, uh, what do you love most about Korea? Uh, of course, first na doon yung music because ever since like 10 years old, yung ano, second gen, I guess, it's hindi ako nagkakamali yung natawag sa kanila. Uh, yung girls' generation, super junior, yun yung first, mga first music, key music na narinig ko, I guess, uh, familiar ka din. So, from music, of course, makikita natin yung kinakain nila. So, yung word na influence, yung pinag-usapan nga natin kanina. Uh, it comes with that. And then, along with food, uh, yung fashion, though nag-iba siya throughout the years, it's something na in ngayon and then although yung brands nila medyo masakit sa bulsa but <laughs> alam mo yun <laughs> a Louis Vuitton mga Prada hindi natin kaya yun so we have duplicates naman we can copy that so yeah. nandiyan naman ang Google Pinterest so, yeah and I can't say din na I love Korea as a place kasi I've never been there although I heard stories from my mom na well-mannered, malinis, because she's been to Korea. And then, I guess from that statement of hers, maganda talaga. I can like feel it na din. And of course, through pictures and mga vlogs. So, if yun, what I love most, your top one talaga is music. Yeah. Yun. And coming na yung food and fashion. So, yun ang akin. Ikaw, Lloyd. Well, kailangan ko ba sagutin? Parang alam mo naman yung isasagot ko. Kasi parang, ano mo yun, magkaklase naman tayo dyan. So, kilala mo na ako. <laughs> Pero, ayun nga, uh, to answer din the question, halos same lang din naman din tayo ng, like parang pinaka-common ground, which is K-pop. Kasi, ayun nga, uh, as you know, diba, parang this pandemic lang ako super naging invested at super, alam mo yun, nahook talaga sa, sa K-pop. Kasi, Alam mo na, during the, the, the pandemic, talagang ang hirap talaga mag-cope with the situation. So, hahanap at hahanap ka talaga ng outlet to, alam mo yun, ma- ma- maka- makapag-cope ka, hindi mo super maramdaman yung stress. Or at least, um, yung anxiety ba na kung tatamaan ka ng COVID. So, I found yung parang my coping mechanism through K-pop talaga. Specifically, uh, BTS. Alam mo na, we come back. June. <laughs> 
I guess yeah. ano RM din yung guest natin. Yeah, medyo nagre-react na siya eh, nakikita Uh-oh. ko dito. Eh. I I would agree <laughs> with you uh same nung Although I was a fan, sinabi ko kanina na like Super Junior Girls Generation mm. all the first groups. Do hindi naman sila yung like first K-pop groups in yeah. the industry, but like in terms of music na narinig ko sila. I would agree then for BTS, like etong pandemic talaga. Tama yan. <laughs> Yung nakita ko lang, what's going on? Sinong, what's the song? Mm-hmm. And then from there, we discovered yung mga bias. And then yan, dyan na mag start yung pag stock And tuloy-tuloy na yan. And then from BTS, yun, NCT. And then here we are working sa Pinoy Soul Radio. Then we are open din sa ibang group. So we met uh, yeah. 17... Uh, yung SF9 na laging mm. very active on our Twitter quote and yeah and a few girl groups like G Idol uh, what else Itzy do hindi pa sila nag ano sa Pinoy Soul Top 20 but yeah nitong pandemic talaga it's everybody became a K-pop fan K-pop yeah and, and you would expect yeah um, and ayun to, to add then with uh, my answer to Nina aside from K-pop Uh, also Korean fashion din talaga. Alam mo na may mga times sa pag medyo alam mo na yon, parang break time natin sa OJT, di ba? <laughs> Ang topic natin is Korean fashion na parang just parang maganda to. I-try nga natin or something. So ayon, that's one then and Korean food as I've mentioned then with you know our preview previous uh, episodes. Napapali- napapaligiran ako ng mga Korean shops dito sa amin. So, alam mo yung mga budol-budol talaga na <laughs> mga bibili at bibili ka at magtatry at magtatry ka ng mga new Korean food and products. So, I guess what's good with that is the excitement talaga na parang, oh my gosh, ano kayo nasa dito or ganun. Parang, yun yung nabibigay niya na, na, na feeling sa like first time eh, talaga. So, yun lang naman. Oo. Oh, oh. So I feel the excitement of like food and products. Products especially like ma. For me is like yung makeup. But right now, let's find out what our guest loves most about her job and Korea in general. So Lloyd, sino ba tong guest natin this week? Ito na, dahil nag alam mo nagpa-fangirl na siya kanina nung na-mention natin yung BTS. So, uh, to our and yung kwento mo uh, listeners of this podcast, I will now be introducing our guest for our ninth episode. So, she is a Filipina vlogger and also called herself as your Kaching group from the Philippines. Apart from her vlogs and other Korean contents that she put out in her YouTube channel, she is also a K-influencer and an honorary reporter of Korean Net. Please welcome on the show, Ms. Riza Dizon. Hello po! Hello. Hello! Hello! Ayan. Hello po! Thank you Hello, for having our invitation po. Yeah, yeah, it's actually a great honor to be here. And it's kind of a very memorable kasi first time ko oh. dito sa, <laughs> ano, sa podcast niyo guys. Mm-hmm. So, maraming salamat. Kumapsum nita. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, mapalabar na naman tayo uh, sa Korean language. Thank you. Huwag <laughs> <laughs> yung mag-alala kasi beginner pa naman ako. Oh, Hindi ako patulad ni, ano, ni Chingu Cherry ka na super as in, intermediate na yung level my niya. My gosh. Para, yeah, <laughs> Mga kumari ni Cherry ka to. <laughs> oh, po, like, kami po talaga nun if we may share like nakanganga na lang po kami. Yeah. Nun. To be honest, we asked her a few words. Uh, and talaga, to be serious, po talaga mm-hmm. how po she naging to that level. So yun po. Yeah, and to be fair, ha, talagang asin hindi siya yung uh, nag-expect ng Korean language na alam mo like yung mga Korean words na ini-insert lang. Asin straight up na Korean ano? Kaya parang grabe, what? <laughs> As in, talagang hindi po kami makapaniwala. And she's very generous generous din to, alam mo yun, to uh, share her talent din sa, sa podcast. Yeah. Kaya we really admire her talaga. Kaya, yeah, yeah. Ayun, so, oh. yung, you know what's touching ngayon? Kasi both of them, first time, madaming, ano po, oh. <laughs> the first time po, like, in the interview, like, oy, first time ko ma-interview to a podcast. So, isa po kayo dun sa mga like na-invite po na it's their first time to like yes. matanong for a podcast so memorable po talaga yeah 
And ano yung, uh, to be honest, we're very thankful din na, uh, alam mo, yung mga first-timers, parang binigyan nila yung trust sa atin. Na, diba? Like, for their first experience. Kaya medyo, uh, somewhat, parang may pressure din sa amin na kailangan namin maging, kailangan, like, every episodes for those uh, people na first-timer, kailangan maging memorable. Alam mo yung, ano ba yan? Sayang naman yung experience. Yung <laughs> Kaya, as much as, ano, as much as possible, talagang really uh, give our best talaga in every episode. Para maging maganda yung kakalabasan ng uh, podcast. Ayun nga, uh, Ms. Risa, uh, as just mentioned kanina, thank you talaga for accepting our invitation. And, ayun, we can't uh, wait to get to know you better because upon reading your credentials, nako, Grabe, very interesting talaga yung mga ganap din talaga sa buhay ng isang Miss Riza D. So talagang, nung pinigay sa amin ni uh, Miss Lorraine yung like list of your of the things that you do, ay gosh, <laughs> grabe, yeah. super busy and super productive. So, uh, ayun, before pala anything else, before we formally start the podcast, uh, kamusta naman po pala kayo ngayon? How's life with you? Everything is actually amazing. Even though maraming problema, I'm sure... We are still in the pandemic, so parang yung isip natin parang kailan ba ito matatapos. Pero by God's grace naman, we are, you know, we are more than conqueror kasi. So, every day is a special day. Uh, minsan kasi sinasabi na ano ba yung ganap mo sa buhay ngayon? Parang sabi na, oh, nothing special, just a typical day. But, um, you know, alam mo yung... Chini change ni God yung perspective mo when it comes to life. Kasi every day, kahit walang ganap, like for example, it's like a typical day sa work or like sa inyo yung pagiging intern nyo. But actually, waking up in the morning is special itself. Kasi hindi lahat ng tao may chance na gumising sa isang araw. I mean, sa, sa araw. So, it's I'm just very thankful <laughs> kasi parang meron akong napagtuunan din ng pansin aside from, you know, um, working. Kasi minsan yung work ko parang nakaka-stress <laughs> kahit nasa, <laughs> nasa work from home setting siya. Kasi minsan na nabo-board ka eh. Kasi before, I was working in a travel agency. So, yung ano ko, parang yung environment ko is office talaga. And then it it's uh, it was changed into like a normal work from home setting. So minsan nakakatamad gumising, <laughs> yung <laughs> nag-alarm pa tapos ino off lang tapos oh, alarm pa ulit lang after 15 <laughs> minutes so, mga ganun. Yeah. But yeah, every every day is a blessing din naman. I like that po, yung every day is a blessing. Yeah. I heard someone say that po formally start the podcast po. So, yung first question lang naman po namin is, uh, I get everyone naman po, tinatanong namin ito, uh, can you tell us more something about yourself? Po? Okay, parang mapapalaban ako dito. Mukhang <laughs> uh, ano to, resume ano. <laughs> resume ano pala to, ex, um, expanding of resume. <laughs> Pero yeah, um, Hello to our listeners. Hello to you, Jazz, Lloyd. Um, ako po si Riza Dizon. I'm actually 25 years old. And I'm a very proud Filipina. Yes, Filipina po ako, guys. With the passion for Korea. Yes. So, ako yung bunso. Ako yung pinakabunso sa pamilya ko. Yes, but way back, meron sana akong ano, yung meron ako younger sibling sana. But namatay siya, unfortunately. So, ako yung naging youngest sa family. Yes. So, um, I actually finished Bachelor of Science in Business Administration majoring Human Resource Development Management dito sa city namin. Yes. And I know, um, yeah, just like what I said a while ago, uh, before I, before I have this current job, um, nagtitiyak ako ng English as a second language to global students, kasi so 
may ma- may na- ma- may nai-encounter ako na mga Korean students, um, bata, tsaka adults. So, kaya parang minsan, in in the class, nagko-Korean din kami. <laughs> and then Japanese, and then, basta global, parang, but mostly, Japanese and Korean talaga yung parang dominant sa students. And then right now, just wanna share kasi opportunity din kasi na um, I'm, I was actually learning Korean language din. Kasi, you know, the ba, yung mga um, pangarap natin makapunta ng Korea, maganda talaga yung parang makakapag, you know, makakapag-communicate ka with the locals, with their ano, native language. Kasi, I've heard kasi na even parang simple expressions lang or mga mga phrases, they really appreciate it. Yeah, na-appreciate nila yung mga foreigners na try to communicate them with their ano, native language. And yeah, <laughs> gusto ko kasi makapunta sa Korea soon, probably asap <laughs> kung pwede. <laughs> yes, um Um, I actually started yung parang na-expose ako uh, with Korea through K-dramas, guys. Yes. Hindi ako makipap actually. Sinasabi ko yan lagi pag, pag may, may mga K-friends. Actually, yung K-friends, yun yung tinatawag namin sa mga um, K-enthusiast na mga people. And actually, aside from being a key influencer and honorary reporters it's another community na nasalihan ko yung key friends it's under the korea tourism organization yes so it it parang you will serve as online ambassadors to share korea to to the world so pwede ka mag-share a lot maybe a culture or history or keep up anything na pwede mong i-share, mga cosmetics. I've heard kanina you like Korean cosmetics or skin cares. Yeah. Yes. yes. And I agree kasi <laughs> I like it also. Um, mostly my cosmetics and skin cares are Korean products. So, <laughs> kaya, kaya naririnig ko kanina para sabi ko, oh, okay, I see. Yung mga ganun. <laughs> yes. And right now, isa din sa opportunity na nagbukas sa akin when I started parang yung passion ko for Korea sa language nila is that um, I'm actually teaching Korean language here in the college sa city namin. Wow. Yeah. Pero part-time lang siya but at least di ba yung parang yung passion mo to learn Korean and then nakapag-teach ka pa rin sa yeah. iba so you shared your your ano your passion your knowledge kung ano yung mga nat- natutunan mo rin sa sa ano sa Korean language so kaya kaya sinabi ko kanina na wag kayong mag-alala kasi yung yung level ko sa Korean guys beginner and uh, now that we get to know your background let's move on naman po sa story mo in discovering your interest about Korea so i guess um medyo na nabigyan niyo na kami ng gist sa kung paano niyo siya like uh, na discover yung or nag-gain yung interest niyo sa Korea pero could you please elaborate po? elaborate it po like um paano niyo pa siya like fully na discover paano kayo mas naging invested sa sa Korea ah um so sabi ko nga kanina first ko yung K friends mm-hmm. so because of that community i was able to gain a lot of internet friends na sim ng passion you know kasi iba kasi yung mga friends ko dito eh wala silang alam sa Korea so hindi ako masyadong <laughs> yeah ang hirap ang hirap i-explain sa kanila yung fashion mo kasi hindi naman nila naiintindihan but when I gain a lot of key friends so nag-share kami ng fashion tapos um, I've learned din na bakit sila sumali kasi nga gusto nila yung Korea and mostly I think not really mostly, parang all of them, kasali na ako, gusto talaga makapunta ng Korea. Kasi most of us, hindi pa nakapunta ng Korea. Alam mo yung, 
nagsustory ka about your passion ng Korea pero ever since hindi ka talaga nakapunta sa country. So, ang hirap i-imagine, ba? Diba? Ang hirap i-imagine yung uh, maganda tong place na to, yung Nami Island, yung Jeju. Ang hirap i-explain kasi puro imagination at pictures lang yung na-experience mo. But then, uh, kaya nga, last uh, last year, okay, um, finalo ko lahat ng mga organizations, legit organizations from Korea. So, from their, um, from Korea Net, under COSIS, uh, Korea Tourism Organization, lahat na mga pwedeng mapag, um, mapag kitaan ko ng mga information about Korea, pinofollow ko siya lahat ng social medias. So, after that, nag, nag come up sa feed yung K-influencer at saka honorary reporters. Kasi, uh, same umbrella sila ng courses eh. So, nung application date ng K-influencer, application date din ng honorary reporter. So, sa pagiging mapangarapin ko, meron ba yung word na mapangarapin? Pagiging ambitious ko, kasi nga gusto ko yung parang ma-widen yung knowledge kung ma-engage talaga sa Korean community na you know, ma, yung sa government nila mismo, it's really fulfilling actually na hindi mo na-expect na you will be recognized by the Korea organization tsaka Korea government mismo. Kasi government organizations yung mga departments na yun. So, sabi ko, okay, I'll try. I'll try to to, to join. So, um, thankfully, yeah, thankfully, okay, um, nasali ako sa both programs. So, after that, parang sabi ko, oh my gosh, parang, eto na talaga. Tapos, kinakabahan din ako kasi first time. Both program, first time ako. And then, sabi ko, kakayanin ko ba to? I mean, ma- maaano ko ba yung mga, <laughs> mga responsibilities as key influencer or um, you know, HR. Tapos, sabi ko, okay, okay, Lord. Ita try ko to, Lord. So, after that, yeah, nag-share kami ng mga passion sa other um, key influencers noon. And then, sa HR. So, yan din yung parang naging motivation ko this year na as much as possible, I will, I will be active on writing. <laughs> Kasi before, tatlong articles lang yung na, ano, na-publish ko, na, na, na-approve din. Kasi parang na-focus din ako sa editing ng K-Influencer. So, yeah. Yun yung parang na, parang nag-widen ng passion ko for Korea. Kasi na-expose na ako sa, sa ganung mga settings. Wow. I mean, uh, ano ba siya explain Kasi the way you explained or the way you share your story, kung paano mo parang, alam mo, napalawak yung uh, napalawak yung interest mo sa sa Korea. It's very, alam mo yun, the way you deliver, parang it's very passionate. Alam mo yun, yung feel na feel mo talaga na this is what I want talaga. Uh, but anyways, uh, now that we uh, talk about like your uh, should I say journey or parang on how you parang napalawak yung uh, love and interest sa Korea. Now we will be moving on to uh, the YouTube stuff naman. Kasi yeah. diba, aside, okay. from, aside from being an influencer and an honorary reporter, uh, you also do like YouTube, uh, like blog and other contents. And so to start with, uh, may we know uh, when did your passion in becoming a YouTuber start with? Um, actually, hindi ko matandaan yung exact moment. But, before kasi, nag-watch ako ng mga vlogs ng mga artista or yung mga vloggers. First na parang na, ano ba yun? Parang na humaling talaga ako is yung Jamich. Naalala nyo yung Jamich. Oh, yes. Parang oh. sila ata yung first na nagpakilala about vlogging yeah, yeah. dito sa Philippines. And then, parang, ah, oh, ang ganda na mga kwento. Tapos, ganun. Pero hindi ko pa nasagip sa isip ko na parang, okay, mag-vlog ako. Kasi <coughs> gusto ko lang talaga i- i-share yung passion ko sa singing. Alam mo naman, pag, pag singerest, <laughs> sabi singerest. na singerest. <laughs> pag ganun, um, gusto ko kasi 
magre-record-record ng mga shows kahit hindi naman hindi naman totally professional. Basta gusto ko lang ma-share. And then, at one point noon, parang sabi ko, ano ba tong YouTube? Actually, hindi ko talaga alam yung mga YouTube channel-channel na yan before. Wala akong background na in super nanga. Super zero ako sa mga ganyan. And then one time, nakikita ko yung nag-explore ako sa YouTube. Sabi ko, ano ba to? Tapos may nagsabi doon na, di ba, mag-click ka. Magko-comment ka sa isang video, kailangan ka magkaroon ng name. Di ba? So, kailangan mag-create ng channel. Ah, okay. Ito pala yun. Ganun. <laughs> And then after that, nagtatry ako mag... Nagtry ako mag, ano, nagtry ako mag... upload ng, yun nga, yung mga songs ko na mga wale, mga raw. <laughs> If you can see the very first video na in-upload ko sa YouTube ko, parang song cover lang talaga siya. And then, walang editing, walang intro, walang outro, walang mga ganon. <laughs> Basta share ko lang siya sa YouTube. And then, it's been a while, parang, parang super matagal din bago siya na, bago siya na nasundan. ng content. Ganyan ako ka katamad nun. <laughs> And then after that, parang sabi ko, ay, maganda pala tong ano. Pero, merong, parang merong nag-hold back sa'yo na baka walang mag-subscribe, ganun. Baka hindi, hindi makikita naman ng mga tao. Kasi, nakita ko yung first video ko nun. Super, parang ang liit ng views. And then sabi ko, ah, okay. Parang parang yung nawalan ka ng gana kasi parang baka wala namang nag, nanonood eh. Kasi ang dami ng mga YouTubers dyan. Ang dami ng mga malalaki pa yung iba. Tapos mabongga pa yung mga equipment. So parang ang galing talaga ng mga angles, mga mga kuha nila. Kasi professionals yung mga equipments, ganon. But then, yeah. Um, nung nakilala ko talaga yung ki-influencer, dun, dun talaga parang na... na-inspire ako mag-create ng contents. Although, hindi lahat. Kasi minsan, may mga contents ako, di ba? Uh, may ibang contents aside sa influencer missions. And then, after that, parang sabi ko, ay, okay, maganda naman pala. And then, nung nagkaroon ako ng mga internet friends, and thankfully, they're also supportive naman. So, they, they were able to watch the video. So, parang sabi ko, Ah, okay, pwede din pala. Sige, okay lang. Okay lang na ganito pa lang yung views, mga ganon. Kasi, di ba, even though hindi naman you're not into views talaga, basta makapag-share ka lang, makita mo rin pala talaga yung motivation pag maraming nanonood. Kasi, ano pa yung reason mo kung hindi naman pinapanood yung YouTube video mo, kaya nga in-upload mo dun kasi mas wider yung, ano, mas wider yung... ano ba, uh, market sa YouTube. So, maraming, not just in Philippines, but to all the other countries, pwede silang manood. So, yeah, yun talaga yung parang nag-open up na mag as aspiring YouTube content creator. Yeah, and just to add na lang then with what you said, kasi, uh, ako kasi personally, uh, during my parang teenage years, Very exposed mm-hmm. talaga ako sa mga different vloggers, not just in the Philippines, but you know, uh, even around the world. So, lagi pag nanonood ako, kasi minsan, di ba, kapag uh, there's a certain YouTuber na super big na, like, ang dami na achievements in their career, minsan may mga vlogs sila regarding how to start a YouTube channel, ganon, or tips. Oh, yeah. So, when I watch that, though, hindi naman, wala na akong plano, like, to pursue a YouTube career, pero... <laughs> Based off kasi sa mga sinasabi nila, laging the, the first thing that they're going to say, if gusto mo mag uh, YouTube channel, ay mag maging YouTuber just for the sake of money, wag mo nang ituloy. Kasi Mm-mm. yung Ito. yung passion mo, kasi hindi parang walang sense yung yung passion mo na ano para sa kumita ka lang do, may factor yon, de ba na parang as nakita na ako so. it's ano, parang additional parang motivating factor sa na i-pursue yung career pero kapag kasi starting channel ka pa lang di ba parang that's the hardest part kailangan mo talaga pagtrabahuhan and you really need to be patient then with you know the right timing and kung kailan talaga mag mag alam mo mag-click yung mga contents mo sa sa audience so 
you know, kaya very super na admire ko talaga yung mga aspiring YouTubers kasi you know without para kasi pag nag-start ka parang suntok ano yan suntok sa buwan na yeah. it, uh, oh. parang there's no assurance na if magbubuo ka or what pero the fact that you started it and the fact that you believed in yourself na you can do it parang alam mo yon there's a possibility talaga na you're gonna make it So, ayun lang naman yung, yung, yung take ko sa mga aspiring YouTubers kasi you'll never know talaga kasi with, in, with the internet and you know with, with the social medias that we have now parang everything is parang everything is possible na yes. mangyari. So, ay, kapit lang talaga and who knows, di ba? A few, a few months, di ba? Or, or years. Basta, tuloy mo lang yung ginagawa mo and If it's something that you love, di ba? Why? Bakit mo titigil? Just for the sake of money or what, di ba? Yes, Take that's time. true. <laughs> Kaya salut talaga sa like yun. Salut talaga ako sa mga aspiring YouTubers talaga. Parang they deserve more recognition sa mga ginagawa nila. Amazing. Wala, nagustuhan ko yung sinabi. Wala, ang ganda nun. Yeah. <laughs> Hindi po ito TED Talk pa. TED Talk. Pero ano, that's true yung ano, there's no assurance. Pero at least, di ba, you tried mm-hmm. and oh, no, released ka ng content. Mm-hmm. So, uh, speaking of contents po, uh, Miss Risa, among everything that you made on your channel po, ano po yung pinaka-memorable for you po? Um, <laughs> actually, I would always say this, na every... Every content naman is memorable mm. but if you will be asking kung for me as the journey goes on um uh, I said this in one of my vlogs ata uh, yeah with one of my vlogs it's actually a collaboration video mission with our influencer nung nag nag-uusap kami how is it being a key influencer ganun um the most memorable was during our July mission uh when you see that the playlist i i created sa channel ko ito yung ano the korea that i've experienced ito yung mission kasi yung mission na yun that time dalawa um it's either you can do both or you can choose one topic uh yung isang topic is the korea that i've experienced yung parang sa sa place mo yung korea na experience mo sa place mo and then the other one is how korea viewed in your country but kaya nga ang hirap kasi magkaroon ng mag magigas ng ibang friends ko kung paano ba nila na view yung korea So, yung pinili ko, hindi ko siya ginawa both. Yung pinili ko is yung Korea that I've experienced. What makes it very memorable for me is that yung restaurant na kung saan ako nag-vlog niyan was the very first experience ko with Korea. I mean, um, I remember yung Soban Korean restaurant dito sa city namin. I first Um, had an experience with it when I was still in college. Alam mo yung parang Chris TV type na presentation? Kasi business English namin yun. And then, we have to cover up yung parang, sabi ng uh, professor namin, okay, since we are talking about presentation, so you have to uh, create a video na yung parang Chris TV, yung um, pupunta kayo ng isang place or not really that not necessarily restaurant actually parang place and then napili namin yung sagka grupo namin na yung Suban kasi it's one of the best Korean restaurants here sa city namin and I I would always really uh, say na very uh, recommended if ako yung pagpipilin kasi merong ibang restaurants dito sa Dumaguete but usually yung binabalik-balikan ko until now is yung Suban kasi yung yung experience ko sa kanila for the first time na kasi sabi, 'di ba, K-drama tapos K-food, pero hindi hindi pa ako nakapag-eat ng K-food before before that before that experience. So, nung sinabi na okay, sisubuan tayo, parang na-excite ako. And then sabi, tapos 
Um, kami yung host noon, alam mo yung parang ang feeler na nagiging host na, Hi guys, welcome back, we will Anna. And then after that, I mean, during that time, it's very memorable also kasi uh, even though it's our first ever experience with that restaurant, we were able to interview the owner mismo. Oh, wow. Yes, because yung yung instruction kasi ng prof namin is you will ask the owner or probably maybe a manager kung wala ang owner na you know about business yung ano yung marketing strategy nyo na to be a competitive business in the market in the long run mga ganun. so I was really thankful kasi nag okay yung ano yung owner yung owner mismo and then Sabi ko, wow. And then, alam mo, yung gusto mong makita, makakita ng Korean. Kasi, never po ako nakakita ng Korean like in person before. Even though, gusto ko talaga yung mga dramas ganun. So, sabi ko, pag na, parang, parang, oppa. <laughs> yung, oppa. yung owner, parang <laughs> oppa. Oo, tapos, ayun, nag-interview na kami sa owner. And then, after that, and, also, unexpected din talaga yung happenings doon. Kasi, the experience was really amazing with the owner. Plus, it was also the very first time that I experienced eating an authentic Korean food. And guess what? For free. Sana all. Yes. Sana all. <laughs> I mean, wow. Hindi, hindi namin unexpect na the um the owner would ano yun, yung parang oh. pinakain kami ng ano pinakain kami ng mga delicacies nila doon mga cuisines kasi uh, yung ano lang talaga namin doon is to interview him and then after that uuwi na kami kasi magi-edit ng video but i was shocked kasi i remember meron dong ano uh budichige uh kimchi it's also the first time na nakapag uh, nakakain ako ng kimchi and it's been parang for years sabi ko gusto ko kumain ng kimchi and then dun yung parang na, na na fulfill yung dream mo and for free pa talaga guys i mean i was nung kasi nung bumalik ako sa kanila yung sa sa mission ko um of course, medyo kamahalan talaga yung mga, ano, kasi yung servings nila, hindi pang isang tao. Yung budichiga nila is parang five to seven people na talaga makakain. ba? So, mahal talaga. Mahal talaga. But then, they they offered it for free. And then, my tea then yung Korean tea. And then, nagja-jumps kami noon kahit hindi kami marunong. <laughs> so, humingi na, humingi, humingi na kami ng ano, tinidor tsaka kutsara. <laughs> Kasi ang feeling, nagja-chopstick, na, na, hindi naman. And then, yung experience ko din with kimchi noon, sayang nga lang kasi hindi ko na-upload yun sa YouTube before. Kasi wala talaga akong plan about um, content, mga vlog, mga vlog, vlog na yan. We, uh, meron akong copy noon na ano, sayang nga lang nawala yung USB na, na may copy nun, nung video. So, ito, yun yung parang grabe, the best na experience. Tsaka, yung interior design, if nakikita nyo yung video, para siyang hanok. So, para ka talagang nasa Korea. Compared to other restaurants na parang modernized, yung Suban, para talagang nasa Korea kasi yung vibes niya is hanok vibe yung traditional house ng Korea. Tas may may parang painting sa wall na mga Joseon Dynasty na mga tao. So mga handbook, yung mga gat na hat, mga ganun. So as in, uh, super super gaan ng feeling and then yung experience then for free. So that makes it the most memorable for me kasi after five years, 2016 yun, and then 2021, bumalik ako for the mission. So, kumain ako ulit doon for the mission, and nag-explain ako yung experience ko din. So, yeah, and that's also one of the videos na na feature sa Korean net mismo. Yeah? Kasi meron doon na parang up and down na season wherein 
other YouTubers, mga big YouTubers, uh, they will give feedbacks to your videos. And that's one of my videos na na-feature. Wow. So, I was like, oh my gosh, ito pala feeling na makita mo yung sarili mo sa ano, sa, sa ibang videos na, and ano pa siya, parang na nabobroadcast pa siya sa Korea, ganun. So, it's very fulfilling. Fulfilling siya, guys. So, yeah. Yun wow. yung parang pinaka-memorable ko. Bale, pupunta na po kami dyan. <laughs> Alis na po kami. Saan ba yan? Okay. Lilibre ko ba? Dumagete. Noted po. So, uh, Miss Riza, with that, all, yung lahat po nang yun, what's the, what do you love most about being a, yung K-influencer po? Was it the uh, um, receiving the products? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <The> reviews. <laughs> the main reason. Um, actually, the main reason is that para talaga ma ma enhance ko din talaga yung um you know content crea- creation ko with YouTube channel. Because they really help a lot. Yung meron kasi silang educational videos kung paano mag-edit. So it's very helpful. Because especially as an aspiring content creator sa YouTube, ang hirap mag-edit edit ng mga videos. <laughs> Lalo na pag super long yung videos. And mobile phone lang yung ginagamit ko. So minsan parang ay, bumalik yung isa. Okay, wait lang. Babalik. <laughs> yung mga ganun. May yeah. mga ganun talaga, guys. And it's very frustrating. But, alam mo yung binibigyan ka pa rin nila ng inspiration na you can do it. as mga feedbacks nila sa video, okay, ito yung mas better na gagawin mo next time. Mga ganun. Tapos, they also, you know, um, they also, ano ba, parang sinasabi nila na you're good, you're good. But, of course, learning is still there. So, you can do better next time, mga ganun. So, hindi talaga siya about the subsidy eh. Kasi mayroon silang subsidy sa mga creators. Hindi talaga ganun. Although, one of the reasons, pero kahit naman walang subsidy, go pa rin ako. Kasi, okay lang naman kung walang subsidy. Kasi, hindi, hindi din ako into subsidy eh. I was just actually very thankful na meron silang ganyan. Pero hindi yan yung uh, parang main point ko na bakit ako pumasok sa academy. Yung ganun. Yeah. So, I guess, ano yun, di ba? Parang, uh, how do I say it? Ba? It's the passion talaga. Yung, mm-hmm. yes. yung yes. pinaka-main reason na ito yung gusto ko and parang you want to learn something from this. So, sige, try natin, di ba? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, and it's a good ano, then, It's a good parang reason din talaga na alam mo yun, yun yung pinang yun yung pinanggagalingan mo. So, mm-hmm. uh, now that we talk about then like yung sa journey mo sa pagiging ang dami na natin pag-usapan nila like a uh, journey <laughs> towards uh, this Uh-oh. the beauty of um, Korea, your interest then then becoming a K influencer, a YouTuber. So, itong next nating topic though uh, you've mentioned it earlier parang like uh na introduce na siya sa amin kasi nung nagre-research po kami din binabasa namin like yung credentials mo and then ito talaga yung parang oh ano to yung yun yung nakapag ano sa akin nakapagpaisip na ano yung kinaga oh oy parang oh my gosh natin <laughs> so uh, to be specific naman ang pag-uusapan natin is like yung uh, pagiging honorary reporter so ito kasi nung ginawa namin yung script and ginawa namin yung uh, questions. Napa-search talaga ako like ano yung honorary <laughs> reporter kasi parang first time ko na din siya na encounter. Tapos mm-hmm. little did I know na ano pala talaga siya like a non-Korean na some, someone na outside from South Korea na ayun nga po parang tutulong to uh, uh, promote then the, the 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 country and then ko ano yung ano yung pa yung offer like mga uh, products, di ba, mga culture and other vital information din talaga na na pwedeng ibigay sa sa readers. So, mm-hmm. ganun, eh, parang na-amaze talaga ako na, wow, sana oh, may gantong alam mo yun, may gantong <laughs> background. Kasi, ano eh, basically, you're like representing the Philippines. 
Yes. South Korea. So it's a big thing talaga. So um, now with the question po, since na mention mo rin kanina yung yung journey mo, how you start then yung paging honorary reporter. So we would just like to ask then uh, kasi baka mamaya meron tayong mga listeners sa podcast na who would like to try then the then maging honorary reporter someday. So uh, could you please uh, share to us yung pinaka background ng ano pa ba yung um, ginagawa talaga ng isang honorary reporter and uh, maybe for those listeners na interested saan sila pwedeng like mag-try to, mm-hmm. to be like like you someday um okay so yung honorary reporters um first time ko siya na narinig last year before ako nag-apply last year kasi last year ako nag-apply and then na uh, nakapasok naman and then this would be my second time this year but the honorary reporters started way back 2011 so 11 years na sila in operation so <laughs> yeah but i'm thankful na kahit hindi ako nas, i mean hindi ako nakapag ano sa the very first time but at least the journey is still there na like especially in this recent times um Hindi din ako masyadong nakaka-gets kung ano ba yung honorary reporters before. But um, through our coordinators, our coordinators for HR, Annie and Cal. Hi Cal, hi Annie. <laughs> Maybe they will be able to hear this from Korea. They're very hardworking and they're really, really approachable when it comes to questions. Um, yung honorary reporters is that you cover articles that was last year but um this year i think we actually okay w- wait lang ha kasi nag nag-open ako sa sa studio ko eh para makita ko yung mga meron kasi silang in upgrade this year before you only you can uh, write articles so you can insert pictures but now you can have either video clip or illustration kung mahilig ka mag drawing so, pwede, pwede ka mag-create ng mga drawings like yung mga palaces sa Korea. Tapos sasabihin mo, what would I want to do if I visit Gyeongbokgu? Mga ganun. So, mga kanyan. So, hindi siya limited sa kailangan mo mag-interview sa ibang tao when it comes to Korea. You can use to write about your experience. For example, like you said, yung mga K-pop. Kasi yun yung talaga nag-boom ngayon eh. Yung mga K-pop. So, for example, you went to a K-pop concert like Super Junior or, you know, uh, ano ba, BTS, EXO. You can write that experience of yours. Yes, you can cover up that. And then, if ever, for example, okay, meron ka ding pinuntahan na parang, for example, pumunta ka ng cultural center, Korean cultural center natin. Yes, marami doon, marami doon na pwedeng ikwento. So, you can put there na a day, ma, depende din sa title mo eh. Ikaw lang din yung maggagawa ng title. For example, a day uh, with a Korea, chuchuchuchu, cultural, blah, blah, blah. And then, you will just state there. You will write kung it's the first time by your visit, ano yung nagustuhan mo. Tapos, you will attach pictures for parang... Kasi ba yung mga articles, even other uh, websites, may mga pictures din, ba Yung mga proof pictures na, okay, ito yung, ito yung sinasabi niya. Kasi pag lahat puro words lang, minsan kasi nabobord yung readers. So as much as possible, you can be creative with the pictures. At least kung mababasa nila, tas makita yung pictures, parang, okay, I have to read this until the end. Yung mga ganun ba? So after that, um, ano, pwede din, like, you will interview someone. For example, if you can interview the director of the cultural center, ano ba yung, um, ano ba yung ties with Korea and Philippines, and then ilang years na ba yung, ano, yung ties with the, mga ganun, mga cultural ties. So, hindi siya limited for, like, kailangan talaga na, magmasid ka talaga sa Korea ko ano nangyayari hindi siya limited dyan so you can have the experience or if for example you are into cooking so pwede pwede mo i-share yung mga mga experiment mo like for example kimchi tapos um, you will mix it with a Filipino dish tapos i-state mo doon na ito yun tapos 
you will have the procedure, mga ganon, mga picture. So, pwede. Pwede siya. So, as honorary reporters, it's actually a voluntary kind of work. Yes. But, you will get a certificate. And if you will write outstanding articles based sa criteria nila, you will receive honorarium, just like I said. That's one of the, the best uh, motivation that you can do aside from writing for your passion. And there's also a lot of workshops where you can enhance. If gusto mo talaga magsulat, like yung, meron kasing mga tao na gusto talaga magsulat eh, pero hindi nila alam kung saan sila mag, magsistart. So that's very helpful for you to, parang you will learn from other, KN, uh, sorry, honorary reporters then na uh, seniors na. So, paano siya, paano siya magiging effective and then ano yung ginagawa mo to, you know, parang gaganahin ka din na, I mean, gaganahan ka magsulat for that. So, all around the world, marami. Meron siyang iba't ibang languages. So, may mga um, ano ba yun? Chinese, for Chinese um, K-enthusiasts, but mostly, pag sa Filipino, English kasi yung usual natin ginagamit. So, yeah. Yun, mga ganun. So, if ever, sa mga listeners natin dyan, if you wanted to try, this is actually a yearly program. So, Cal actually explained it uh, last um, orientation, last May 21. Nag-orientation kami sa honorary reporters um they explain it why they have to do it yearly although um previous hr can apply again and again but they have to do it yearly kasi um may mga times kasi na like within this year hindi nakapagsulat ng kahit na isang article yung hr so they will give time to that hr na uh baka nag um mer- they have a difficult time in the schedule so they can say okay I will not join here kasi sila yung pumipili sa mga HRs na ma ano so we are now in the 12th class so maybe next year that would be the 13th class of the HR program so kung gusto mo pag may passion ka sa Korea pag may passion ka sa pagsusulat you can you can join wala sila hindi sila strict when it comes to to that basta alam mo yung passion mo sa Korea, gusto mong i-share sa buong mundo, yes, you can join. Ayun. So, yung mga nakikinig dyan na, baka naman, you, you could be the next Miss Risa Dizon, di ba? Oh, <laughs> Miss Universe lang. And by the way, guys, if you have any questions regarding the programs that we actually uh, are talking about with Lloyd and Jazz, you can always contact me on my social media accounts. Let's be mutual. Yeah, let's be moots. <laughs> moots. <laughs> yeah, moots. 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 <laughs> Pero, yeah. um, Miss Teresa, of all that po, ano po yung hardest part of being an honorary reporter po? Okay. Hardest part is paano ka mag-formulate ng article. Like for example, <laughs> nakapag-formulate ka na ng article mo. Ano ba yung next na pwede mong i-cover up? Yung mga ganun. Kasi mostly, mostly kasi sa mga honorary reporters, minsan nakakover up na sa iba. Minsan uh, na, na-explain na sa iba. So ano ba yung pwede mong gawin na hindi ka ma- you know, plagiarism? Kasi very strict sila sa ganyan. Yes. Kasi ba? Diba, Nakikita yan sa mga tao eh. Nakikita yan sa mga readers all over the world. So, when it comes to plagiarism, they're very strict to it. Especially for the wordings talaga na kinakapi mo talaga. And then, yung sa copyright din ng pictures na gagamitin. Very strict sila. Oh. So, yan. Yung formulation talaga ng article, pinakamahirap for me. <laughs> I think Pero, so. <laughs> <laughs> like as communication students, kasi meron po kami like mga subjects regarding mm. like mga feature articles, ganon. Yes. Para, <laughs> same din. Same <laughs> I can relate. <laughs> careful po talaga. Yeah. Yes. Baka po Very careful. Galita ng prop. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway po, um, how did this 
yung pagiging honorary reporter niya po, how did it change your life? And what's the most fulfilling part of the job po for you po, Miss? Um, actually, it changed my life in a way na, yeah, just like sa academy ng ki-influencer, and dami ko din naging friends, not just here in the Philippines, meron ako mga Indian friends, um, marami sa, sa buong mundo, meron akong Indonesian friends kasi nakilala ko sila through this program. And then we were able to collaborate with each other. And then yung full feeling is that yung makakita mo na yung the fruits of your labor is not in vain. <laughs> Especially nung nanalo kami sa September mission namin last year. Wow. Yung pinag-create kami ng um, yes. autumn uh, thank you, thank you. Autumn, uh, ano siya, issue na ano ba yung pwedeng ano, may may topic kami. Tapos yung topic naman about handle. So, collaboration with uh, Pinoy HRs and then meron din sa ibang I think meron coming from India. She was also very active and then I was I was not expecting to ano talaga, parang um, ano ba, manalo kasi it was also the first the very first mission na nasalihan ko. Kasi yung ibang missions, meron din kasing missions every month na ano yung dapat isusulat. But, hindi ako masyadong naka, nakapag-join. Kasi nga, ang hirap mag-formulate ng mga ideas. And, yung yung times na may nag-calligraphy, hindi naman ako marunong mag-calligraphy. So, hindi ako makakapag-join. Yeah, so, it's very fulfilling ng time na yun. And then, it's also very fulfilling na if ever you will go to Korea, you can find um, any and Cal, and then you can visit the COSIS office. Tapos makikilala ka nila as HR. Wow. Yun yung pinaka fulfilling dun. Wow. Just uh, <laughs> honorary report. <laughs> this is your sign, Lloyd. Yeah, try to your next year, guys. I'm kasi talaga, kaya sabi, kaya kumbaga, like among all the topics that you listed, dun talaga ako very curious talaga na malaman. So, mm-hmm. grabe, ang galing. It's your sign. This is your sign. Si Miss na yung sign mo. <laughs> 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 Tapos invite mo na ako sa podcast ha. Tapos mag-guess din ako. <laughs> yes. Actually, I'm planning to ask then, uh, maybe in the academy feature. Ang galing kasi talaga. I mean, very ano po talaga. Very, kasi so, uh, to be honest, first time ko lang talaga narinig yun. Kaya sa parang sabi ko, ang unique naman na, alam mo yun, despite na you're not in Korea. Physically, mm. di ba? Pero you can yes. still represent your country, di ba? Through honorary reporting. So, ang galing talaga. Wala. Na-amaze lang ako. But anyways, ito na, Miss Alarisa. <laughs> ah, ito na, yes. Ito na talaga ang ating pasabog. Pumunta na tayo sa exciting part. <laughs> exciting part. Wala pa, yeah. wala pa na tayo sa exciting part kanina. <laughs> yeah, kasi, uh, and actually, part na yun eh. <laughs> Pero ito na talaga yung exciting na exciting kasi um, alam po nag-enjoy tayo sa mga topics sa pinag-uusapan natin. And you know, your, your story talaga, it's very interesting then and very... You're so generous po talaga in sharing your story. So thank you for that. But uh, before we... Um, conclude this um, uh, before we conclude your guesting in this podcast meron tayong palito <laughs> surprise kasi uh, oh my god <laughs> sa mga guests kasi namin po with the uh, with the podcast ano talaga mm-hmm. as in lagi may pasabog kami hindi pwedeng hindi sila dadaan sa face na to so okay. uh, pakilabas yung guest oh joke lang <laughs> pakilabas yung guest sa kinuha namin ano sa kuryo ano pa yan na dadaan po dito ano pa nasa ano the joke lang uh, yung pa surprise naman is uh, as a is a game a fun game just to lighten up the mood ng ating okay. podcast so just will be explaining oh it to you so ayan <laughs> habang nag experience just mag stretching na po tayo dahil ito po ay isang madugong laro <laughs> so just <laughs> yes, po. go ahead okay uh, kahit po si uh, si Miss Cherica like hala na na shock po siya I, I mean everyone about bigyan ako pa ano very light. Although, ito pong game namin okay. kasi we change it according po dun sa guest. So, ah, yung, okay. Uh, iba po yung sa first episode, uh, iba po yung kay Miss Cherica. Like, kine, kine, inaano po talaga namin, uh, ginagawa according po dun sa 
interest and then yeah. kung ano po ginagawa nung uh, guest yes. namin for the week. Pero this one po kasi, it's just a fast talk. Uh, yung pa kay uh, Tito Boy po. And we ah, prepared... Okay. <laughs> oh, po. And we prepared 10 random questions for you po. And all you have to do is answer these questions as fast as you can. Yun Ayan. lang po. Yun lang Surprise. naman. Wala naman po ngayon. No explanation Surprise. needed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but oh, As in, answer lang. Snap, okay. snap, snap. Okay. Oh my so, gosh. Buya bonda, <laughs> ikaw ba yan? Oh, oh. Ako po talaga yun. <laughs> <laughs> ikaw na susunod. <laughs> Ako na. But anyway, so ayun, uh, Ms. Visa, ready ka na ba? Game ka na, ba't parang pagpunta ang Chris Aquino? <laughs> but game ka na ba? Ready ka na ba? Talaga ko. Ready ka na ba? Okay, 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 okay. So, the first is best skincare tip. Wow! Diba ang hirap agad? Ah. <laughs> oh, sige, ang timer. <laughs> yun. Ah, always wear sunscreen. Yeah, that's true. No, okay, that's po. <laughs> favorite, favorite key drama? Um, Psycho Jaman Quintana. It's okay to not be okay. Oh. Favorite, ito na. Favorite okay. K-pop group? <laughs> yeah. Um, Excel on BTS. Oh. Our uh, favorite K-pop song. Epiphany by Jin of BTS. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Next is your favorite Korean word. Um. um sarangye. Sarangye. Oh, I love you. Ah, uh, oh. ito na. Pero alam natin na sagot dito, Jose. Eh. Oh, Your okay. favorite Korean food. <laughs> <laughs> lahat. Basta Korean Basta Korean, food. lahat. Okay. Next <laughs> is, ito. Uh, since you're a uh, K-influencer, uh, what's your most favorite package you receive? Uh, uh, <laughs> the box. Uh, <laughs> uh, wait. Uh, it's actually the Octo... Ah, uh, no, no, no. September mission gift. It's a bag, crossover oh. bag, body bag with key influencer wow. word and then badges. Influence, uh, influencer badge and then closest badges. Wow. And then I, I wanted to show you this one. The key, uh, uh, come on, you. <laughs> ah, <laughs> some, some, um, cell phone strap. With K influencer oh. word. Uh, oh. Yes. So cute. Cute. Oh. The serve. <laughs> the serve. <laughs> Next, Thank ito. You. Since you mentioned that, uh, diba you haven't uh, visited uh, Korea. So, mm-hmm. uh, diba, who knows, malay mo this year or next year, diba, maka visit na ng Korea. So, our next uh, question is your top three destinations you would like to visit in South Korea. Okay. Um, Jeju. Jeju oh, is yeah. always been my dream um, island to visit. Mm. Dahil yan sa k-drama na my girl ni Idong Wook. Yung mandarins. Meron kasing plantation doon. Malaking plantation ng mandarin. And then, Gwangju. Have you heard about Gwangju, guys? Actually, I have it. Yeah. Um, Tagad po si ano? Si J-Hope. It's actually... <laughs> oh, eh? Yeah! Yun! Gusto ko doon. Kasi Gwangju. actually yung Gwangju, hindi siya masyadong popular when it comes to ano. Hindi siya parang in-introduce. Mm. But I've learned Gwangju when that was like 20, uh, 2018 sa travel agency. Parang ini-introduce yung Gwangju sa Korean Tourism Board. Oh. So mga agencies kasale. So doon ko nalaman. And then I was really shocked and surprised and happy. Kasi doon din... <laughs> Doon din si J-Hope. Yes, so, yan po. Yung, know yung, that. Well, yeah, Doon din po yung ano. Laman. Ano yun? Yung J-Hope na pababa pong uh, 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 monument yes. po ba yun? Oh. And then, <laughs> and then Wait, more, yes, That's super. It. And then more untraditional sila doon. Maganda. Yeah. Mm. And then the third is Degu. Oh, Degu. Oh. Sugar. Yeah. Sugar. Oh, Thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, yes. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Amazing. Oh. So, narinig niya ng universe. So, 
diba? Let's see. Pero very ano, like very interesting yung mga like locations na pupuntahan. Mm-hmm. Next yeah. is a Korean personality you would like to collaborate in the future. Baka nakikinig siya ng podcast. <laughs> Sino ba? <laughs> um, Sino ba? Ah, si ano? Si Miss Jenna Kim. Isa siya sa, Jenna ano, Kim. sa guest namin sa workshop ng influencer before. Oh, okay. Yes. I mean, we know, ano, like, what's her, ano? May, um, aside from personality, like, Jenna blogger? Has- Or yeah, a blogger. A blogger. Siya. And then, parang nag- meron din siyang work eh. Uh, mm. Meron din siyang work siya. Yeah. Ayun, Miss Jenny, if you're listening, <laughs> galawin mo ang box. Ay, hindi pa lang kakaito din ang Tagalog. Pa-translate mo lang. Ah, English. Ayun. And for the last uh, question, is your most favorite article written as an honorary report? Since you've okay, been all right. No, actually last year tatlo lang. <laughs> marami na po 'yun, sige go. <laughs> then once. Oh yeah, uh, marami na siya. Then, sorry. Um the best is when I was able to write about Kwangju. Oh. Yeah. Um when you check it, pangalawa ko siyang article na approve and then yeah, doon ko sinabi na I was surprised na It's J-Hope's um, hometown as well, so I I would love to visit his hometown when I go there, like that. Wow. Wow. Ah, tara na. Tara na mag South Korea. <laughs> It's a sign. Oh, It's a yeah. sign. Gusto ko nga na pangtahan yung, like yung, di ba yung coffee shop ng parents niya, no, ni Jamie, doon. Kasi oh, nag-backroll so din siya. Oo, oh, oo. Oh. Kahit yun man lang, kahit di na si Jamie, ano kung hindi kaya? <laughs> kahit yung parents na lang. But yeah. Uh-oh. But anyways, ayun lang naman po yung ating pa-surprise. Very chill lang naman. Or uh-huh. malapit na lang ba kayo? <laughs> yes. Yun lang naman. But thank you for uh, being game then, participating then sa, sa game. We really enjoyed your answers. And uh, at least, di ba, we get to know you pa better sa, sa fast talk na to. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. <laughs> thank you. I had so much fun, actually. Wow. Yeah. Kami din po, kami din po. Opo. Oh, I really like yung Gwangju, Daegu. Wow. Oh, <laughs> hindi ko kasi alam kung saan yung Kajin eh. Actually, yung ano Parang ko talaga. Parang hindi ko na rin yun. Kajin. Parang ano is si Jin. Si Jin. Kaya gusto ko yung song niya. Ah, so mm-hmm. siya, siya bias mo? Yes. But na, alam mo yung siya yung bias mo pero na-wreck nila lahat. Oo oh, oh, nga. <laughs> Nalilito ka na din. Ano? Sino ba talaga? <laughs> Totoo. Lahat pa may mga, may comeback pa sila, di ba, si June? So, my gosh, I'm so excited. Si Worldwide Handsome po pala. Oo. Oh, yung confident oh, niya eh. Yeah. Yung parang, the way, yung sabi na, parang super confident daw ni Jane. But, when I heard about her, uh, I sorry, his story, yung parang, hindi din pala talaga siya ganyan ka-confident yeah. before pa. So, parang nagigain lang talaga niya through experience. And yung dad jokes niya as in, super funny na parang wale. <laughs> wale na funny. <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh. As in, super. Ayun po. Uh, thank you po ulit. But, uh, Miss Riza, we're down to the last set of questions we want to ask you po. Uh, with all the things you achieved In life as a YouTuber, K-influencer, honorary reporter, what are the other things you would like to reach for in life? Um, actually, before I was, you know, I was engaged into this community, like Korean community. Um, one of the dream that I really wanted to achieve is to become a singer. Grabe no, ambitious no. Gusto ko talaga maging singer. Um, and then get to know maybe some singers ganun. Kasi yun talaga yung I don't know, passion for singing talaga. And then but right now, parang sabi ko maybe it can wait <laughs> or something <laughs> like that. But who knows, 'di ba? And then other than that, other than creating this kind of contents, um 
I would really love to go to Korea. I, I wanted to work there and I wanted to study there. I actually tried a lot of scholarships. You know, I tried to apply a lot of scholarships. However, and I wasn't able to continue because nga super layo ng embassy namin dito eh. Oh, yeah. Hindi ka tulad yung nasa Manila lang. So, they can just, you know, buy jeep. Yeah. And hostel, especially now, hostel. Kasi, na, nagka-pandemic. So, ang hirap. Mag, magpapa-authenticate ka pa kasi. So, you will send it to the BFA. And then, you have to... And, the process. parang, oo, oh, oh, ma- malayo yung ano process. And then, parang, hindi ako kampante pag nagsisend ng mga files kasi original files yung sinisend eh. Oh. Oo. Eh wala akong ibang copy ng mga credentials ko dyan. So pag <laughs> nawala yan, ha? Ah, yeah. Oo. So, yun yung ano talaga. Or maybe, di ba, baka you, you can ano na lang, siguro, yung dream to work there is the most mm-hmm. ano talaga. Like, yes. parang kaya-kaya. And uh-uh. uh, will, if ever, but like uh, given the chance, would you like to ano din, stay in Korea or for ano lang talaga, like for work, traveling, ganon? Of course. Or pinangar- ah, pinangarap din talaga? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Kasi ando ka na talaga, eh, di ba? Pag, like if you stay there for ano, oh. for good. No? Yeah. So, parang you're good. living your dream na talaga in yes. South Korea. Ah, so... <laughs> Let's manifest. Manifest. Yeah. Claim manifest natin. natin. Let's claim it, <laughs> Deva, for you. And ito na for the uh, for our last uh, question. Because usually, uh, with the questions that we put sa sa wrap up namin, uh, we usually end it in a question or something inspiring. Yung 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 tanong ba? And yung inspiring din yung makukuha nating sagot. So uh, oh, wow. for that, <laughs> di naman tapang Miss Universe na level, pero. <laughs> <laughs> Pwede natin. Uh, what can you say to those people who would like to be like you someday? Um, okay, so first and foremost, um, being in this journey is not really a bed of roses. Hindi siya yung parang masaya ka lang always. Kasi may mga times na gusto mo talagang mag-stop. Parang, parang nagiging hassle sa part mo. But if you wanted to pursue something, never give up. Dalawang words lang yun eh, pero super powerful. And of course, the very first thing I I wanted to 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 take on this point is that you have to thank God for everything. Because um, it will go back to to that time na it's always about His grace. Kung bakit nakayanan mo. I would not say that I'll take credits. This is always true whenever someone would ask me na, ano ba yung mga advices mo sa mga tao na gustong mag-pursue ganito? I would always say na, unahin mo lang talaga si God. Kasi pag siya inuuna mo, everything will flow. Everything will flow in accordance to, you know, their places. And hindi ka magiging parang you have a peace of mind then to do what you love. Kasi, um, sometimes sinasabi ko na, kaya ko pa ba? Because, actually, this year, uh, last year I said na hindi ako sasali ng K-Influencer third batch this year. But then, when I saw na um, there's a lot of opportunities na binibigay, so, I tried again. So, yun yung parang motivation na ah, I will stop na lang. But then, you have to to remind yourself na bakit mo siya sinimulan? Ano ba yung reason kung bakit ka nag-engage sa ganyang community? Kasi, you can actually engage to another community. ba? But bakit ganyan? Bakit sa lahat ng countries na pwede mong i- i- i-engage, bakit Korea pa? Although, especially now, kasi marami ng gustong Kore- gusto ng Korea. So, marami ka ng competitions. <laughs> Ganun, di ba? <laughs> but, um, I don't actually see them as competitions. But, rather, I see them as parang 
motivation to try harder and uh, try it um, smarter this time. So, if you are that one person na not not just for Korea, baka may ibang may iba kang gustong gawin sa buhay mo, you will never get to that point where you can say, I did it when you give up. So, hindi ka makapagsabi na, wow, I did it. Kung in the first place, nag-give up ka na. Kasi hindi mo siya, parang sa, sa stairs, magsasabi ka na, ah, I'm tired na. So, hindi mo maabot yung pinakatuktok. Mga ganun. So, when it comes to giving advices, hindi ako masyadong, ano, parang expert dito. But, yeah, the the only thing that I could say na, you just have to love what you do. Kasi, hindi always masaya. <laughs> I could tell you. Hindi siya bed of roses. And then, there would always test things along the way. But, ganyan naman talaga eh. That what, uh, that's what makes the journey interesting. Yung mga, you know, testings, mga, kung baga sa, kung sa road, may mga bato-bato dyan na kailangan mo sitain para maging smooth lang yung flow ng journey mo. And if you wanted, yeah, again, if you wanted to join the communities that I've engaged in, you just uh, don't hesitate to to contact me, yes, uh, on my social media accounts. I would be willing to help kasi gusto ko, gusto ko din tumulong sa mga aspiring, ano eh, aspiring, parang yung mga may pangarap. Patuloy lang ang pangarap, guys. Oh. Although, you feel that sometimes it feels so impossible but nothing is impossible if you believe yeah. amen yeah. amen to that to wow. actually yung sinabi mong hindi ka expert parang hindi naman like yung giving advice as cuz we felt what you said <laughs> yung alam mo parang lilipad na kami sa sobrang uplift <laughs> <laughs> I've been there kasi kaya yeah. y- kaya nasabi ko da- mm. na- na- nasabi ko yun but yeah but, but thank you for the encouraging words and for sure the listeners then talaga will take that and mamamotivate talaga sila to pursue their passion in life so ayun yeah. so I ayun so. just to reiterate lang then uh, if you would like to I mean uh, follow the journey of Miss Riza to alam mo uh Someday, uh, if you want to be like a key influencer or an honorary reporter, so uh, wag lang kayong maging uh, just contact her talaga. And for sure, we will uh, ano din naman, like give her uh, contact information then once we out this uh, episode. So ayun. Thank you guys. Ayun, uh, yun guys. So our dear listeners, make sure uh, to find Miss Riza's uh, social media accounts. We'll attach them to. Uh, pag premiere na namin tong uh, episode, episode of anong kwento mo so make sure guys you watch out for that and for now po it's just like we do this every episode po on this we insert realizations from mm-hmm. what we've discussed yung akin po I really like yung sinabi niyo when you're on the verge of giving up remember why you started and then ngayon mm-hmm. ko lang na-realize if yung ginago I'm an athlete po kasi sa school and yung mm. sport ko relates to Korea ngayon lang po oh. siya opo oh nag ano sink in say, oh ano taekwondo uh, Korea it's, I don't think I'm not sure po if still the national sport po of Korea yeah. pero it's it yung it is po so yeah. that's good to know po wala lang po it's one of the things I follow myself po na Yung, I agree po dun sa tawag po dito, yung not a bed of roses, hindi po like rainbows and butterflies. Mahirap po talaga. It's the process. And may mga competitions. Competition yeah. in the sense po na may cha-challenge sa'yo dun sa place mo in school. Because we used to have like screenings. Like, nakikwento ko po to kay Lloyd na there's no assurance na ikaw pa rin yung pipiliin next year. So, you have to work hard. And yung sinasabi nga po ni Taylor Swift, I said this dun sa episode namin last week, yung effortlessness po is a myth. You have to exert effort po talaga if you really like what you're doing. Although, 
for others po kasi it looks effortless but in reality po kasi it's they're exerting energy effort yes. so ayun po yung akin like, yung sinabi niyo po like wow that's me pinafollow ko po talaga yung ano uh, yung parang motto na yun and then to reach a goal po yun nga you have to work hard and then thankfully naman po sa na reach ko na po yung akin so wow. ayun na po so yun po Thank so, wala sampal ang high kick. Dali. <laughs> <laughs> ano na lang? Ano na? Sa YouTube channel ko. Naka-private. <laughs> yung mga video. Ah, YouTube video <laughs> pala to eh. <laughs> Ay, ganun. Collab na yan. <laughs> ano po kasi, ano, yung recent po, since nag-pandemic, uh, yung games po namin, uh, recorded through a video and then required po siya uploaded through uh, YouTube, unlisted or private po na at <laughs> time probably ayun po <laughs> pag siguro proud na proud na po sa really guy i will post one one lang po madami po yun eh so <laughs> we will be watching jazz ayusin mo yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ako naman ako naman <laughs> ako naman ito kasi si Jess nakakilis lagi may pa quotation hindi ako prepared lagi sa quotation eh. <laughs> wala akong quotation about niyan pero Uh, going back sa real- realization ko sa podcast natin, very relatable kasi for a person to experience adversities in life. Talagang, alam mo yun, it's inevitable na hindi talaga siya like happy-happy lang yung buhay na you get what you want, you experience what you want. ba? Diba? Parang sometimes talaga in life, it's a challenge ka talaga ni Lord. In a way na parang to the point na you will question yourself na kaya ko pa ba? na hanggang saan pa ba yung kaya ko. Pero, you know, going back to, to your core or to your main reason why you started, di ba? It's just parang mindset na, na, you know, in life, it's normal for people to experience hardships. And, you know, with those hardships talaga, uh, you learn something from it. And, you know, as you go talaga sa, sa journey mo in life, you will uh, learn something. And yung learning na yun, you will apply it for the rest of your Uh, life. So, uh, to sum up with my realization talaga, uh, yes, there are times na parang you feel like uh, you're giving, parang you will give up na talaga yung dream mo because hindi mo siya makuha in, in an instant eh. Pero, uh, siguro I guess, ayun nga, mindset lang talaga na kailangan you have to believe pa rin na, you know, anything is possible talaga as long as uh, you are still holding on sa, sa pangarap na yun and you're still doing your best to achieve that. So, ayan lang naman. That's I true. Agree po. <laughs> so, ano pong grade natin sa recitation? <laughs> ayan lang naman po ang ating heart to heart. <laughs> agree po ako dun sa sinabi ni Lloyd. And uh, Ms. Riza, once again, in behalf of Pinoy Soul Radio po, we would like to thank you for accepting our invitation to our podcast po. Yes, maraming salamat po thank for... Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, thank you so much for being so generous po talaga and, you know, expl- uh, <laughs> sharing your story. Kasi, um, naalala ko lang din, uh, konti na lang to, I mean, yung, yung sinabi ng isang guest namin na uh, since he experienced then doing interviews, medyo, ano talaga, alam mo yung nakakasad for like, na, for like a host na, alam mo yun, nag-prepare ka ng like set of questions, pinare-prepare mo yung sarili mo for the interview, then, you will only get like a little bit of information or answer to the the guest pero with you po talaga like super thank you for being so generous talaga to to share your story sa sa amin and alam mo yun, for for trusting din us talaga to you know to to know your story and uh, aside from that we would also like to thank Miss Lorraine ako Miss Lorraine talaga grabe our hero our hero <laughs> sa paghahanap ng guest kung bingo lang to nakabingo na talaga siya So, kasi as in uh, one call away lang one message away lang talaga si Miss Lorena means wala po kaming mahanap na guest and we're running out of time so as in talagang siya oh ito baka pwede niyong itry so ayun thank you so much po talaga for helping us uh, reaching out to Miss Riza and uh, she's why we we had fun uh, sa interview na to yes. thank you po thank you so much thank you so much po Oh, Lloyd, thank you so much. And yes, Onni, Anya, <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting me here. Yeah. It was actually 
very fun kasi gusto ko talagang mag-share kasi I believe na sharing is caring yeah. very quotable naman talaga yan sa atin and yeah I also believe that um, you receive freely you will also give freely yeah so na-receive ko yung mga experiences ko freely wala akong binayaran doon so I would really love to share it freely then guys oh Thank you so much, Bo. Thank you so much. And to our dear listeners who are tuned in, uh, tuned in with us today, thank you very much, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode with Miss Riza. Yeah. So I guess now we have reached the closing part for today's podcast episode with Miss Riza. And as much as we want to extend this podcast, our time is up. And that is it for this week's episode of Anyong Kwento Mo, Riza Diza. Make sure you guys stay tuned with our next guest, uh, ilan pa ba, Lloyd? Isa na lang. Oh my gosh. Pinali na. Oh. That's so sad. So, yeah. yun, guys, make sure to stay tuned with our uh, teasers and maybe spoilers. Bada ba na dyan. Nakaw mga spoilers dyan, ah. Spoilers. <laughs> yeah. And as usual, Jazz, as I, ano, parang say lagi sa podcast natin, very excited talaga ako. Though we only have uh, one guest na lang remaining pero alam mo yun excited talaga ako to uh, have th- this uh, kind of interview to different uh, people talaga di ba? just by knowing their their stories very uh, inspiring and very alam mo yun parang uh, na, na bumabalik ka din talaga sa, sa core mo in life na ayo oh, nga no parang may mga realizations ka din na nakukuha or napipick up and ayun uh, also make sure to catch uh, the other shows on Pinoy Soul Radio like PS Pa Request with DJ Samji every Monday and Pinoy Soul Top 20 that is live every Friday so make sure to vote for your favorite K-pop songs by following the format uh, posted on our Twitter account it's at Pinoy Soul and again ito another shameless plug please follow me on Instagram it's at Lloyd Bagus X Jazz ikaw alam kung may promote ka please do so yes we also have the mobile app Pinoy Soul Radio for Android users and sana soon for uh, iOS and like our Facebook page and visit our website both is tinoysoul.com to get updates with our latest content also replays of episodes will be available on our YouTube channel Tinoy Soul every Wednesday so make sure you guys subscribe for you to get notified and of course shameless plug then just like Lloyd Follow me on Instagram at justk underscore d08. Or just do it. Just do it. <laughs> just <laughs> do it. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess that's uh, it for today. This has been Lloyd. And I'm Jess, and you're listening to Anyong Kwento Mo, where we will talk about lifestyle, music, and culture in both Philippines and Korea. Yes, tune in next week for another fun and exciting episode only here at Pinoy Soul Radio. Anyong! Bye! Bye. Thank you. You just listened to a Nyong Kwento Mo podcast with Lloyd and Jazz, where we talk about lifestyle, music, and culture in both the Philippines and Korea. Catch us again next time, only here on Pinoy Soul Radio.